Okay, my beautiful black people, I want to show you something. This is how the lawyers are getting um, these white people off on charges after they kill us, okay? This is from the Supreme Court of the United States. And basically, this is from the Dred Scott case uh, versus John F. A. Sanford. And if you take a look down here, it tells you that this is how they're getting uh, white people off for killing us. Persons of African descent cannot be, nor were ever intended to be citizens of the United States. This is in the Constitution. Now, I've been trying to teach people this for the longest time um, on the Facebook group and everything, but this is important to get this video out here because black people are not understanding that they're not citizens. They think that they're equal to these white people despite the things that white people are doing to us. You need to wake up. Like, really, get the boogers out of your eyes. You know, go ahead, rub your eyes, get the boogers out, and, and get the wax out of your ears and listen up. You will never be equal to these white people. These white people do not like you. They don't respect you. They don't look at you as human. You're considered to be three-fifths of a human. This is why they're able to do the awful things that, that they do to us. Now, let me tell you, they treat animals better than they do us. They don't even, you see how they pine and whine over animals. They don't do that to us. They treat us. They treat us like we're gum on the bottom of a shoe or boo-boo at the bottom of somebody's shoe. Y'all need to wake up. I'm, I'm telling you, y'all need to wake up. This is what I'm going to need every single solitary last black person on this planet to do. Well, United States anyway. Go to thelaw.com. You see this? Go to your app. Go to the app store. Go to the law.com. Scroll down to where it says citizen. Okay, let's get to the to the C's. A B C C I T I. Let's see. Okay, I went to a little bit too far. Scroll down to citizen. C I citizen. Click on citizen. And read that. This is their law, guys. Okay. Citizens are either native, born, or naturalized. Native citizens may fill office, any office. Naturalized citizens may be elected or appointed to any office under the Constitution of the United States. Okay? All natives are not citizens, though, of the United States. Okay? The descendants of the aborigines, for those of you that claim, I'm not no African, my people didn't come here on ship, I'm aboriginal. Guess what? Y'all ain't citizens neither. And those of African origin are not ent in, uh, entitled to the, citizen, the rights of citizens. That's those of us whose ancestors came here on ships. Anterior to the adoption of the Constitution of the United States, each state had the right to make citizens of such persons as it pleased. But the Constitution does not authorize any but white persons to become citizens of the United States. And it must therefore be presumed that no one is a citizen who is not white. A citizen of the United States residing in any state of the Union is a citizen of that state. So white people can come from anywhere. They can come from another country and, and come to the United States of America and they're considered a citizen. But you being born in, in the United States of America, you people of color, including you Mexicans, you Hispanics, who think you're better, who think you're just like the white people, um, and that you're equal to them, no, you're not. You're just a piece of crap like they look at us as black people. You're just a piece of trash, okay? They don't like us. They never have. They never will. And we're not even citizens. So that's what's getting them off when they kill us and they're not convicted, okay? But it's in the Bible. Wake up. Spread this message. I want this message to go viral. Now here we are with take two of the property room and trying to recover my illegally seized property by the Bakersfield Police Department. I was sent over here to the manager's office, which is across the street by the property room sergeant. And you can see the number of patrol cars that are here awaiting my arrival. In my last video, I showed a note that the clerk gave me at the other location that actually has this address on it, the 1600 Truxton Avenue, which is that city manager's building right there across the street.
You didn't lock them in there, did you? Huh? You didn't lock the keys in there, did you? Sure, this right here is about seven to nine degree pitch here. I can't even get myself up here by myself anymore. Go ahead and press the button right there on the handle, the red button. to the United States Constitution, I have a right to do what I'm doing, and, that's cool. and they're and what they're doing here to people, that's and there's no record. Give me enough respect to step outside and you can do what you do. That's all I'm saying. Well, okay. in saying so, respect with you. Res that's what I'm asking you. Go ahead, ma'am. Thank you. People need to learn the Constitution, and when somebody's doing something like this, what it means. Aren't you trying to get your Yes. Uh, mine has come from over at your property room. It's across the way. Yeah. We're waiting for you over there. Yeah, but I'm here because I'm being tossed around and pushed around, and I already see all the patrol cars over there, and they're waiting on me. So I'm not stupid. That's why I had this camera here recording. And the lady that just got up and walked out of here, she didn't understand why, but it's because you guys can't be trusted. And that's why I'm here instead of across the street right now. I'm not stupid enough to roll over there and get shot or something. So they can come over here and talk to me where it's safer at. Cause I'm not gonna walk. I'm not gonna roll into their trap over there. You wanted a complaint form? Though? It's more than a complaint form. This is child abuse by your department. Your officer Jones came to my hospital, huh? Talk to you. Well, somebody can come and do something because right now, with the video footage that I have and the video footage that I have from the hospital, what your officers did to me, I'm ready to go to national media now and publish all this stuff. So I would suggest that you get somebody out here real quick. Okay. You just want to hang out there? Yes. Okay. And see, if the lady was paying attention, she would notice that I kept the camera up high so that I didn't get the child in the video. We are conscious of children and stuff, you know. But she's so busy worried about whether she's going to be on camera or her makeup is right or whatever. I have a right just like you do, just like you don't want to be on camera. I have a right to film what's going on against me. Are they coming? Yeah, he's dead. I bet you ready to come up out of here. Didn't you just hear what he said? They're waiting on me across the street. Didn't, when we pulled up, didn't I tell you about the police cars? How many was there? They're not normally there. I'm not stupid enough to just roll over there. I'm not stupid. Before I could even make it from down the street at Trucks in an Oak, they got five patrol cars waiting on me across the street. Really? That wasn't even a five minute ride.
And that officer know me. He's been out to the house before. So he already knows what he's doing with and who he's doing with. And the other lady would have asked me, why am I doing this? I just don't know why they just don't give me your stuff. And I know, but no, I'm just saying for people, for the public, to understand why we do what we do, I'm not just standing up for myself. I'm standing up for her, too. And she's accosting me on their behalf. This is what I was just talking to you about. It's always people are saying ethnicity that want to com be combative with us when we're expressing our rights. Yes, sir. Thank you. You know your rights. This lady right here is probably here for me, but I don't think she's wise enough to go to the ADA window because I'm not going to go to one of these other windows. Internal affairs complaint, but now it's actually turning into a child abuse complaint um, with the Bakersfield Police Department and Officer Jones. Um, just the past week ago, I was admitted into the hospital here, um, downtown, Mercy Hospital. Um, there was a disturbance, law enforcement was called. Officer Jones has been a costume for the last year after being in a hit and run accident um, with a responding officer. They came out, they took all my assertive devices. I have a memory problem. Mm -hmm. Even when I was just in court just now, they had to continue all the way to October. The court case itself, just based on the fact that your officers have illegally taken my assertive devices, my recording devices, which works with my memory, and they all know that I was shot in my head, and I have a memory problem and everything, but also, even more so, these devices control the scheduling of my appointments, my children's appointments, and everything else. My, my son has a cast on his arm that's over two weeks overdue because my property is in 